Hello everyone. So for this lesson, I'll show you how to solve multi-step equations. All right, let's start off with this example. Let's say we have five in parentheses x minus one, and that's gonna equal a two x plus three. All right, so we have a set of parentheses here. So I wanna distribute that five. Right, so let's do that real quick. So here we go. Five with the five with the x it will give you five x, and the five with the negative one will give you a negative five. Okay, and it's just two x plus the three on the right hand side. Right. So um, looking at the right hand side, we have the two x, and the left hand side we have the five x. So what I'm going to do is bring this 2x to the left-hand side. That way I don't have to deal with the negative numbers, right? So let's do that. I'm going to minus 2x on the right-hand side. I'm going to do the same thing on the left-hand side, minus 2x, 2x as well, All right? So let me draw my little line, help you out. And then let's go back here. We have this 2x and negative 2x, so we can cross those out, right? They go to zero, and we're left with the plus three, right? Plus three, or we'll just say three. And on the left-hand side, we have the five x, right? Let's circle it, minus the two x, so that'll give us three x. So let's write that down, right? We have the three x. And the minus five, well, let's just bring that down minus 5. Okay, so on the left hand side we have 3x minus 5 and on the right we only have that 3. So I'm trying to get all the numbers onto one side, right? So this minus 5, I'm going to bring it to the right hand side. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is plus the 5 here, but I'm also adding 5 on the right hand side. So plus 5 here also, right? We always want to keep the equation balanced, right? So now what we have is this, right? This equal sign here. So we have 3 plus 5, that gives us 8. And this negative 5 and plus 5, they go to 0, so we don't have to write them down again. And we have this 3x that we're going to bring down. Okay? So there's only one step left to do, right? And that is to divide both sides by 3. Right? And we do that. And that'll give us our final answer over here, right? So we'll make a nice little arrow. So this three and this three, they cancel. You're left with just the X, right? And there's an equal sign there, equal sign. And we have eight over three, right? We'll leave it as eight over three or uh, if you want, you can make it into a mixed number, which is uh, two and two thirds, but that's fine. We can leave as uh, X is equal to eight over three, right? And so we're done with this one, and we're happy. All right, let's take a look at another one, right? Let's say we have negative three, right? Minus two in parentheses, five y minus seven, equals 2, let's make that a 3 actually, 3y minus 5 plus y. All right, so this is a long one. It looks scary at first, right? But let's break it down, right? The first thing I would want to do is uh, get rid of the parentheses, right? PEMDAS always uh, comes into play, right? So let's do that. So uh, actually, let's bring this negative three down, right? We didn't do anything to that yet. And what we have here is this negative two times the positive five y, right? You always take the sign to the left of the number. So there's a negative there. So negative two times the five y, y. So that will give us negative 10 y, right? So we're satisfied with that. So let's do uh, the negative 2 times 
the negative 7. So now we have negative negative. We all know that's going to be a positive 14. Right? Notice the parentheses are no longer there, right? We're good. And let's bring down the equal sign, line it up, right? And now I'm going to distribute this 2 into the 3y and the negative 5. All right, so let's do that. So we have this 2 here times the 3y. That will give us the 6y. And then we have this 2 times the negative 5, which gives us a negative 10, right? And we have this y there that's hanging around. So let's bring him down, right? So now we're pretty much set with the parentheses. There's no more parentheses here. And this looks a little bit cleaner, right? So now let's see what we can combine here on the left-hand side, right? Let's do it side by side, right? So if we look at, let me take this one here. Uh, we have a negative 3 here, right? And we have a positive 14. So when we combine them, we'll just be left with 11, right? 14 minus 3. So let me circle that so you know I'm taking that negative 3 and combining it with the positive uh, 14. So that'll give me 11. The negative 10y, right? This negative 10y right here will stay the same. So we'll bring that uh, one down. So negative 10y. And this is a plus uh, 11. So we know it's a plus 11. And there's an equal sign there, right? Equal. And then now let's take a look at uh, the right hand side. We have a 6y here, a little arrow. And then here we have a plus y. So we have 6y plus y, so that'll give us 7y. And the minus 10, we'll just, we'll just bring it down, right? There's no other number that we can combine that negative 10 with. All right? So now, we're, it's a little bit shorter, so we can, all right, let's, let's bring, it's probably easier to bring this negative 10y to the right-hand side, all right? So this negative 10y, so it doesn't matter. You can bring this 7y to the left-hand side if you want, but um, let's, let's just do it this way. Uh, we're going to add 10, let me try to see if I can get the same color here. I think it's this one. So let's add 10y, right? But we do to the left-hand side, we have to do the exact same thing to the right-hand side. So plus 10y over here. Okay? So now when we do that, we're going to be left with the 11, right? It's going to equal... Now this is going to give us 17y right, 17y, and the minus 10, okay, and there's only one, uh, well, two more steps, but we have to get rid of this negative 10 here, so what I want to do is just add the 10, and add the 10 over here, all right, so now we have This goes away, this goes away. Oh, I forgot to cross these out, but they, they went away. Um, so we have 17, so let's write it over here. We have uh, 17y on the right, so 17y, right? It's this one here, 17y. The negative 10 and positive 10, they're gone. And on the left-hand side, so let's make an equal sign. And uh, the left-hand side, we have 11 plus 10, which is just 21, okay? So now we can just um, divide both sides by 17, and that should give us y, right? So let's divide this by 17, and let's divide this by 17. So this, we have the 17 over 17, so that's just 1. So we can cross uh, those two 17s out, right? So we have the answer here, y is equal to 21 over 17. All right, so we can actually make some room over here and put the answer y is equal to 21 over 17. And again, you can just leave it like that uh, or you can convert it to a mixed number. Right? And this was a long one, so we're really happy, right? We're really happy with this one.
Okay, I think you're ready for a challenge. Right, here we go. Let's say we have eight plus two T and all of that's over three. And it's gonna equal two minus three over five T, okay? Um, so let's, let's take a look at this one here. We have eight plus two T over three and it's equal to a whole number minus three fifth T, okay? So if you wanna make this easier, uh, let's get rid of the fraction. So in order to do that, let's think of uh, that denominator, that three and this one here, the five, right? So let's think of the LCD for those two numbers, right? Three and five. And it happens to be 15 for this particular problem. So what I'm gonna do is multiply both sides of the equation by 15, okay? So I'm gonna take, make a bracket around this one, and I'm gonna multiply it by 15, right? Top 15. I'm gonna do the same thing over on this side, okay? If you multiply both sides by 15, you're not changing the equation, right? You're just rewriting it in a different way. But you'll see why in, in a second, right? Okay, so on the left-hand side, notice three goes into 15 five times. So we can actually make this a little bit easier. Let's cross out that three, and let's just make it a one. And cross out this 15, and we're gonna make it into a five, right? Notice the denominator now is just one. All right, so all we have to do is distribute this five into the eight, all right, and distribute that five into the two t. All right, we can do that pretty easily. So five times eight will give us 40, okay? And then five times the two t will, uh, will give us 10t, right, plus 10t, okay? Then we have the equal sign here, All right? Now let's do the exact same thing uh, for this side. So we have 15 times the two, which gives us 30, right? And then we have 15 times the negative three over five T, right? Negative three fifty. So when you multiply that out, you, get, you do 15 times negative three, that's a negative 45 over five, and it's t, right? So negative 45 over five, we know that's just nine, right? So we'll actually let's erase it and, and rewrite that as nine. So this whole thing is just nine, or negative nine, right? So let's go back, and we just replace that with nine, right? Because it was just, negative 45 over five, and that's just nine. So now it looks a lot cleaner, right? We have a 40 plus 10t on the left, and we have 30 minus 9t on the right. So now we can just go ahead, and why don't we bring this negative 9t to the right? So let's add 9t to both sides, okay? So that goes there, and then I'm gonna plus 9t uh, on this side. So you always wanna keep the equation uh, balanced. So we did that here. So this negative 90 and positive 90, they're gone, right? You can say goodbye to them, right? We're just left with the 30 here, okay? And then we have the equal sign, and then we have uh, 10t plus 9t, so that gives us uh, positive 19t, and we're pretty happy with that. And then we have that 40 here in the front, right? So since the 19t is on the left, I would try to get rid of this 40 and bring it to the right hand side. So in order to do that, we uh, um, it's implied that there's a plus sign here. So we will do the opposite, which is minus 40 on this side. Do the same thing on this side, minus 40, All right? So let me draw up my little line here so you can see a little bit better, All right? So on the left now, since uh, the plus 40 and minus 40 went to zero, we only, um, left with the uh, the plus 19t, so I can just write 19t down right there, okay? And here's my equal sign right there, and 30 minus 40 is just negative 10, right? 
So this looks a lot cleaner, right? So let's make some room, right? So now let me rewrite this here, 19t equals negative 10 up here, right? So you can see it. So we have 19t, right? That's the left-hand side, that's this side here, is equal to negative 10t, right? There's only one step left to do, and that is to get rid of this 19 in front of the t. So in order to do that, I will divide both sides by 19. This side by uh, 19. And it won't come out nice, but that's okay. Uh, so we have t on the left because this and this, they're gone. And we have the equal sign here and negative 10 over 19, which is be left with negative 10 over 19. You can't simplify that anymore. So we're pretty much done here, right? So there it is. Let's circle our answer. And we have a really big smile right here. This is a lot of work with this one.